Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you through how I decorated my home for Easter this year. I'll be sharing a lot of my new finds from this year, as well as how I styled all of my new DIYs from my last DIY video. And all the links for everything can be found down below in the video description box, as well as linked in the comment section. And if you are new here, I would love to have you join us by subscribing down below. We're going to get started over here in my living room. This is my console table and this area definitely gets the most decorations. And I did something a little bit different this year. So for the top part here, I thought it would be really fun to drape it in tulle. I wanted something just different and kind of whimsical. So I went to Joanne Fabrics. I purchased three yards of this light blue tulle and I just draped it across the top and then I had it come down both sides. And then I just gathered the sides with some twine. I think it adds a really fun element to the display and it was pretty inexpensive. So I got three yards and it was $1.99 a yard. So around $6 and I think it might have even have been on sale as well. Going over here on the left, I just have some faux florals in the back. I believe those are from Target from a few years ago. And then if you saw my last DIY video, these will be very familiar. So I shared this egg here as well as this bunny statue and that bunny in the back. Those were all brand new Dollar Tree DIYs for this year. And if you didn't see that video yet, I will leave it linked below. And then in the front, I also have that little leaping bunny statue. That was a new find this year from Walmart. I believe that one was around $6. I love the rustic feel of it. I did end up picking up two of those. And again, that will be linked down below. This is also a new find here, this quartet of bunny rabbits. I think that they are so fun. They look like they are just deep in a conversation. That was an Amazon find. Again, that will be linked down below. And I have them sitting on a tray and that one is from Hobby Lobby and they do still currently have it in stock, I believe. On the right side, I have my second leaping bunny rabbit statue. And this basket here is actually from World Market. I did purchase this one last year, but they do still have it in stock. It is so fun. I love the ears on top. In the back, I just have some faux florals from Joanne Fabrics. Moving down here to the cubbies. On this side, I have my new bunny rabbit. This was the boy version. And then over there on the other side is the girl. They actually come as a couple in a set from Amazon. And they were pretty inexpensive. And that little baby bunny rabbit in the back is from Target last year. This girl one here, I just think is so cute with her pink gingham on. And then the matching companion has the cutest bow tie. I just think that they are an adorable pair. On the bottom shelf below, I just have my record player, which I usually always keep here. So I just have a couple items styled around it. And then over to the right, I just usually keep a few of our favorite board games. And I just have a couple of Easter items sprinkled around that as well. Moving on over here to my coffee table, I have this little area in the front, which I do like to decorate for the holidays. I do also like to keep it simple though, and I just kept it pretty neutral. I have some DIY eggs in the back and then three little golden bunnies. Those are from Target from their dollar spot this year. And then over on top of my coffee table, I have this large wicker tray. This is from Target last year. And this bunny that you see here is also from last year. But the tulips in the back are actually a new find from this year from Amazon. And I'm gonna show you a detailed close-up of those when we get into the kitchen area. This picture here is new from this year from Target. I'm just currently using it as a vase for my faux hydrangea florals that I picked up from Home Goods. They were the Martha Stewart brand and they are the real touch ones and they are so beautiful. I think that they look so realistic, but definitely the star of the show is this large rabbit statue, which is actually the Martha Stewart brand as well from Home Goods. Over here on the couch, I just have some of my Amazon pillow covers. I love to decorate with pillow covers for the holidays. It just makes it so easy to switch them out. And it is so much less bulky than purchasing new throw pillows for each holiday or season. This one here is just one of my favorites ever from Amazon. There are so many details. I am loving those. Moving on over here to my little corner cabinet. Now, if you guys have seen my decorate with me videos, you will know that I sometimes struggle to decorate this area, but I just wanted to keep it pretty simple since I don't have a lot of room. The plush bunny rabbits are actually a DIY from this year. And I just displayed them in this bowl, which is actually another DIY. 
And then I just have some faux florals in the background from Michaels. And then I had this copy of Peter Rabbit and it is new, it's from Amazon, but I was just so blown away at how beautiful the images were that I wanted to put it on display. And I actually will be displaying it on an easel, but I just wanted to give you guys a close up of this in case you wanted to order it this year for Easter or to add into an Easter basket. It actually has more than one story in it. So these are the stories that come in this book. And this is the nicest version I've ever seen. There's actually a fold out when you open the book and you can open up each side. I'm just doing my best here to show you. I know it's a little awkward to see, but the images are just so gorgeous. And if you are reading this to a little one, I'm sure that they would love to see this beautiful landscape. And here's just a couple pages so you can kind of get a feel for what the images look like. This easel here is from Michaels, I believe. I want to say it was around $8, but it is 40% off right now. And this is the perfect size to display a book like this, but I did want to show you another option. So if you have more room than I do on my little table here, this is also perfect just to display your book open. This would be so pretty on a larger table and you can definitely style some bunny rabbits around it. But if you are a book lover like me, this could definitely make some beautiful decor as well as just a lovely book to read. But since I am a little bit short on space here, I'm just going to leave my book closed. I think that the front cover is equally as gorgeous. And you might notice below that I do have a metal bunny sign that looks just like Peter Rabbit. And that one actually is from Dollar Tree. It was in their dollar plus section and it was $5. On my armchair, I have a couple of bunny pillows from Target. The larger one is from last year, as is the smaller one, but they do have an updated version of this pillow this year. And it has green florals and it is beautiful. Over here on my bench, I just have another one of those bunny pillows and this plush bunny rabbit, which is also from Target, and then this butterfly throw, which I purchased from Target last year, but it is available this year on Amazon. Moving on to my kitchen, these are the faux tulips that I showed you a peek of before in the living room, and they are so beautiful. They have the real touch petals, so they really do feel like tulips. They look very realistic and you can actually fully bend them. So you can kind of give them that draping effect to even make them look more realistic. And then over here on my table, I have these bunny placemats. These came in a pack of four from Home Goods. And then over on my wall, I change out my pictures here seasonally or for the holidays. So I actually came up with these four bunny pictures this year. I created them on Canva, but I do have them as a free printable on my blog. And I will leave that blog post down below. You can just scroll down to the bottom of the blog post. You're going to see a link. It will be pink, so you can either click the pink link or click download and just save them to your computer and print them out. And then over here, I have my little coffee bar area, which has even more bunny rabbits. If you couldn't tell, I definitely love bunnies. And fun fact, there are over 50 bunny rabbits just between my living room and kitchen area. It is kind of funny this year how many there are. So over here, I just have a bunch of different bunnies. The wire chicken basket in the back is one of my favorite finds from this year. It's actually from Target from their dollar spot. This little brown bunny came in a set of three. You can probably spot the other two by those bunny rabbit mugs. Those are from Hobby Lobby. The bunny rabbit mugs are from Target and they are still available. And the bunny teapot as well as the bunny rabbit canister where I store my K-cups were home goods finds. And that is everything for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this decorate with me for Easter. If you did, please do give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would love to have you join us by subscribing. I do have brand new Dollar Tree Easter DIY videos coming up very soon. There will be another one out in just a couple days. So be sure to come back very soon. Thank you so much for watching. To subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture right here.